the story of a ship that sank near Glace Bay, Nova Scotia. Nobody was injured, and divers have managed to prevent any fuel oil from polluting the Cape Breton coastline. But the ship's cargo caused considerable excitement, as Bob Allison reports. It started out like the traditional mariner's windfall on the high seas, where what floats is fair game for all. In this case, it was modern day containers so close to this tiny harbor, they could be towed in by fishing boats. The captains, risking the possibility of hazardous contents, were driven by hand-me-down tales of instant wealth from earlier wrecks. Stories of past plunder are folklore in these parts. While some ignored the activity in favor of the annual smelt run, others succumbed to temptation and opened some metal boxes. A few were rewarded with frozen meat, others with lard. This was a shipment of domestic supplies from the United States to one of its military bases in Iceland. Not exotic treasures, but still they hoped. I think right now we have frozen food because we have a freezer container and there was one opened up so far and it's had shortening into it and I hope we don't have more shortening. For Art LeGras, the effort turned into the ultimate disappointment. All the other boys went out, so I thought I'd go with them, see what we could gather what, in. What did you think you were going to get? Treasure. <laughs> no, seriously. What did you get? Ah, I got a container full of Cheerios. <laughs> As maritime law applies here, the fishermen may receive up to one-third of the value of their find. But in the case of the Cheerios, the container is worth more than its contents. Bob Allison, CBC News, Glace Bay, Nova Scotia.